Let's go. Detective Ban. Good afternoon. Hi, Dan. Take a seat. Thank you. This is nothing to be alarmed about. We're just doing a routine investigation into the Betty East Benola Rice murders. Mm -hmm. Were you acquainted with either of the victims? Peripherally, I knew Nola Rice. How? She was engaged for a time to the man who's now my brother-in-law. That's... Uh, uh, Tom Hewitt. That's correct. Uh, they broke up a year ago. More. Mm-hmm. And when did you last see her? Oh, God, I can't remember. Uh, at the Tate Modern, my wife and I ran into her. But that was a long time ago. Have you seen her since? Not that I recall. Have, um... Have you ever seen this? No. What is it? Are you aware that Nola Rice kept a diary? As you can see, you're all over it. Yes, I can see that. Do you still claim that you haven't seen her except for more than a year ago at the Tate Modern? You can't blame me for trying to hide the fact that I had an affair with her. But you people have to protect me here. I hope you don't think I had anything to do with her murder. How long did your affair go on? It began casually when she was still engaged to Tom. They broke up, she moved away. She came back and I ran into her at the Tate Modern and it began again. God, have a heart. My wife is going to have a baby. This will devastate her. Did you promise that you were going to leave your wife and marry Miss Rice? No, I did not. I mean, it's possible she had that fantasy. Then, obviously, she wrote that I did. But I tried to finesse that point with her. I didn't want the sexual relationship to end, but I'm not going to break up my home. My wife and I are trying very hard to have a baby. We've seen several fertility doctors, etc. You can check that out if you like, but I beg you to be discreet. But you did lead her on so that she had the impression you were unhappy at home. I tried to tiptoe around it and not lead her on, but she's going to believe what she wants to believe. Look. Don't irresponsibly run roughshod over this and wreck people's lives. I mean, there is no case because I would not harm anyone, much less Nola Rice. <clears throat> Isn't it obvious that somebody killed a neighbor and she walked in when it was happening? God, I beg you, don't go on a fishing expedition over this and wreck people's lives. My family, my marriage is at stake. We just have to check out everything in a murder case. OK, but I'm not your man. I know it's not the most honourable thing to cheat on your wife, but that does not make me a murderer. We're obligated to review the situation. I understand it's sensitive stuff for you, and if we have to talk to you again, we'll do everything in our power to keep it very private. Your personal life's your own. We're not making any moral judgments, just investigating a crime. I understand. Look, if you have to get in contact with me again, oh, to God in heaven, I hope you don't, please call me on my mobile. It's my number. Thanks. Oh, um, one other thing. Do you own or have access to a shotgun? Me? No. Um, my father-in-law shoots on the estate, but not me. 
You can check it out, but uh, I beg you to consider mine and his position. Of course. Thank you.